73 Super Glide. How are you guys? Day after the storm, storm coming back in tomorrow. Back on this John Deere say, Saber. I want to call it a Saber. If it's a Saber, it's like a working on these like it's a Buick La Saber. It's about the same thing. So, anyways, I went to. Actually, my boy went to the John Deere dealer to get the right ignition switch. Here is the part number. Why am I giving you this part number? Maybe you're having the same problem I am. Yeah, that's the part number. Dealer code. Yep, yeah, John Deere ignition switch. That's the part number. Anyways, we're going to put it on this baby. My uh, tripod is in the other car. Let me show you the back side of the switch. There was a difference in the pin connections on the other one. I don't know if you can see. This looks like to be the ground. That pin connection there. I really don't see any numbers on it. Oops, sorry about that. I was looking at it. And I'll zoom in here as close as I can. And I really don't see any numbers on this one. The other one had numbers on it. So we are going to plug it in. And guess what? I have no ignition key with me. And I'm going to to close the shutter while I run inside here. And get a key. For a switch, it should be in this toolbox here. Let's see. Voila! I wonder if this is the key. It looks like most standard keys. I cleaned this toolbox out. I had piles and piles of stuff in here. It is amazing. So, oh, we are, the time is coming up here. Will it work? Oh, the other thing is, I think it blows fuses too, so. Hmm. Oh, it's clicked. You heard that? That's a normal click. Let's see if she works. Ready, set. Oh, guess what? If I don't put the safety down and the clutch pedal down, she will never start. Ready, set. Look at that. Because that's what it's supposed to do, I think. We turn that key and crank that. That's what it does. I don't think she ain't starting it. She's not starting up, is she? She's got gasoline in her. Well, we got that, that far. The choke is on. And... She's cranking now, and she's not... No... No problem with blowing fuses. Let's see. And I have all the wires connected. Connector there. Protected for that little fuel dealy here. That was the thing that was clicking. 
flu bowls flow. All right, so whatever we have had before was I would turn the key, turn the key, and it would blow this fuse. So now we don't have the blowing fuse issue, but we still have the not starting on cranking. So we will have to check into that. It could be just because it's been sitting out here in the rain without any cover on it. Could be flooded out. Could be most anything with a little saber. Oh, look at that. That wouldn't have nothing to do with it, would it? Huh. Another filter that you can't breathe through. Wouldn't that have anything to do with why I don't want to breathe? Well, it looks like to me there's fuel down there. I say it don't breathe. Let's give her a crank again. Oh, well, it might be beyond that. If there's fuel down in that Yahoo down there, I would tend to say it might be fluttered out. I say we're going to have to. Maybe I should spray some of that start quick. Donnie boy tells me I need to. When you get one of those things, you put some start quick in it. There's another name for it. But we don't like to use that name. So I want to put some start quick. Okay? Everybody knows what that's called. Give me, give her a couple couple shots in there and it start quick and see if she cranks up mm -hmm. it might be that deal with the valve adjustment because some of these got to have valve adjustment all right so anyways we're back to Square two. Putting a new plug in there. Or adjusting the valve. Well, I'll get back with you on this one and tell you where we're at. Alright, 73 and we're out of here.